A meeting to discuss legalization of Myanmar Archaeology Association, MAA, as a non-governmental organization was held in Yangon Sunday. Myanmar Archaeology Association, MMA, was formed in January with graduate and faculties of archaeological department, archaeologists and inspired person with the aim to conserve ancient heritages that are gradually disappearing. We formed this association as there were only a few public awareness programs about preserving cultural heritage, though the Department of Archaeological Research was formed 20 years ago. Myanmar's archaeological heritage is uniquely rich, but also Myanmar has a living Buddhist tradition that is unique. And now as changes are happening so quickly, and as archaeology is being noticed with the possible inscription of the three Pew ancient cities in the World Heritage List, how to make sure that both are supported, not just yes, including from the top down, but from the bottom up as well. And that's why I think this association is very important. We will register with Ministry of Home Affairs to turn MME into NGO. The cycle in the center of logo means unity, follow the speeders, cultural heritage, and pentagon defense. In short, this logo means all are exhorted to take part in preserving our national heritage. People are not aware of the material remains of the past. They simply sell the antiques or throw the broken parts away. My intention is to educate those people to know and maintain the cultural heritages. Myanmar is famous for a myriad of 12th century Bagan temples, inscriptions which is known as the world's largest book in the Zagan region, which listed in UNESCO site last year, 14th century Myao temples, and many other hidden sites like the Bronze Age burial sites near Nyongan village, which are found as the missing link between Iron Age and Stone Age cultures. I am Yumin Sen reporting for MITV Myanmar International Television.